Hi, I'm sick. I'm pretty fucking sick. I'm gonna take some. <coughs> um, medicine. Heard of it? I do feel very guilty for calling out of work. I know it would be really stupid of me to go to work sounding like this and being sick. And I think my coworkers would probably not appreciate that. <laughs> Man, home on the ranch. What the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah. So the only update I have really is that, um, so I know you met Tracy, but you haven't met Dave yet. And Dave, you might never meet, um, but Dave is yet another new roommate. Um, Thursday of last week I come home. And I, I, uh, I turned on my bathroom light, and I was, I was going to turn on my little space heater, and I was going to take a shower. I turned on the light, and do you know what I saw? Do you know what I learned that day? I learned what a, set, a house centipede is. Do you know what a house centipede is? So this is a picture of a house centipede for those who don't know what a house centipede is. Imagine my surprise, this motherfucker on my floor. They're fucking creepy. They're like this big. They're like a pale yellow color and they they have all these legs and they have these these like antennas whatever. Apparently they 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 like the the water. They come out of the drain. They come out of the, they probably like come out like this like he 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 he. That's probably how they come out of the drain and they they oh, they're so creepy. And then they like um I, so I saw him. That's what I saw on my bathroom floor, and I screamed. The thing got away, and I still don't know where, to, where it is, so, and I had to assume that it went underneath my washing machine. Let me just show you real quick. So Dave, Dave was, uh, like, right in this area. Um, this was here. I went, I, he crawled underneath. I picked it up to smash him. He's gone. So, you know, I have to assume he went under there. So what I did, I took some bleach, and I made a barrier like this. I went I made a barrier around the the whole thing. So if he tried to get out, he might be, you know, stepping in a little bleach, you know, and might die, you know. So my camera keeps turning off. I don't know what happened. Uh, I hope it's not broken, but um so yeah, I, di I didn't kill him, but I bought all these ant things and took precautions. I also ordered a dehumidifier because apparently they like the humid weather. So I will not provide, I will not be providing any humidity this year. You guys are going to have to provide that for yourself. I will not be getting any goddamn humidity in my home because Dave will move in and I don't want him here. And then I decided to name him Dave. And I think Dave sounds a lot less scarier than, like, the house centipede, you know? Now, every single day, I, I swear to God, every single day I come home. And I turn to my bathroom light, and I peek in, and I say, Dave? And then I turn on the other light, and I go around the corner, and I go, Dave? And he, I haven't seen him. But it kind of makes it a little fun. You know, Ooh, am I going to see the house centipede today? I don't know. I might. Can't wait to see Dave. Um, I have not gotten my vaccine. I'm super afraid of the vaccine. Um, I don't know. I'm afraid of the virus as well, but I'm not, I'm afraid of the vaccine. The number one thing that I hate though is that it's, this whole thing is making people so angry at each other. I keep saying like, oh, if you don't get the vaccine, you're irresponsible. And like, I can't believe people don't want to get the vaccine, how irresponsible, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, dude, mind your business. Like, mind your bit. Like, what happened to the we're all in this together? What happened to that? What happened to that? What, can, can we all just respect each other's decisions to get the vaccine or to not get the vaccine? Like, rela like it's, it's still new. I mean, it's completely understandable that people don't want to get it. And it's completely understandable that people do want to get it. And it's just like, oh, uh, can we just, let's just all quit being fuck about each other. We're really, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go try to put those stupid screens in now, so... Whatever, bye everybody. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, my hair is getting so long, right? You have no clue how bad I want to buzz it. You have no fucking idea how badly I want to just...
but there's a reason that I didn't take my clippers from my parents' house and bring them here. Because I knew I would do it. And I don't want to. I want to grow my hair. I want to have a ponytail. I want to be a pretty girl with a ponytail. I want a ponytail. Um, that's it. That's all I had to say. Um, take care of yourself. Stay unsick. And I thought it, I thought I was invincible. I really did. I hadn't gotten sick for like two years. Um, and then I got sick. So. You're not invincible. Everybody eat your clementines, take your vitamin C.